Notice what this verse is saying. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Fear and trembling is our issue. It has been since the beginning. What is he actually saying right here? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Well, that word with right there in the middle, if you do an etymological study on it, you'll find the context. It's basically saying, work out your own salvation in the midst of fear and trembling. Fear and trembling takes place in this world because of our thoughts which go astray from the divine. This is one of the lessons we see in Genesis 3. Double-mindedness has emotional repercussions. And so what we're looking at is minds who were divinely created considering the possibility of evil as being just as real as good. I'm talking about the way things are where we came from. Everything is all good all the time. That's why it's called paradise. So blissful. So serene and beautiful and peaceful. We can just keep going on down the list describing paradise. And so we know that's real. Anything that we consider good like that is real. We got no problem accepting the reality. We embrace the reality of goodness. But now, in this world where Snake introduces hostility, he basically opens our eyes to another possibility that is unlike where we came from. He introduces thoughts which are counter to our divinity. The very essence of Antichrist, if I do say so myself. Any thoughts which oppose the anointing, these thoughts automatically make us feel bad because of our original default nature. He says he made us in his own image and likeness. I believe him and I accept that as being the main reason why anytime my thought life strays or splits from the divine perspective of my original self, I'm going to feel that split. I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm certainly introducing this concept to you so that you can gain control of how you feel at will. You can do this if you recognize how what is happening is happening to you. Why do I feel negative emotions in the first place? They don't occur where I came from. There is no negativity in paradise. And so there's nothing to feel bad about there. That just doesn't go on where we came from. And then he's telling us that the kingdom of God is within you. So as it being a part of us, we're going to feel anything else that's different or opposing or adversarial to it, we're going to feel that. And we're going to feel it in the way of it being a negative emotion to let us know what is happening is unnatural and unwanted and it doesn't belong in our psyche. How do we choose what goes on within our minds? Well, you got to care about how you feel. And so if you care about how you feel, you'll choose thoughts which actually feel better to you. You'll choose thoughts which align with your original purposes and intents. In other words, you will focus more and more on what you want to see happen next. Understanding that the more you do that, 
the more seamless those manifestations will show themselves. The less you resist your own desires, the faster they'll come to you. We are magnetic in nature. The electromagnetic field of the heart has been determined to be 500 times stronger than the electromagnetic field of our head. So whatever it is we're thinking, by the time it gets down in our hearts, that thing is going out into an attraction-based universe that returns the physical versions of what we're feeling back to us. So our feelings are telling us the nature of the thoughts we are thinking. We are either thinking thoughts which align with our divinity, those always feel good, or we are thinking stuff that Snake's been talking about related to the hostile universe. And those things will always feel bad to us. The package deal of the hostile universe contains a full range of negative emotions. So anytime these emotions reveal themselves and make us feel bad, why is that so? Simply to get our attention very much like a red light on our dashboard that we hate to see going off. And so it's doing its job. The light is doing its job. But the message, the message is we need to redirect our focus back to what makes us feel better. The Lord said it. A merry heart does good like a medicine. But a broken spirit dries the bones. We don't want our bones drying out. We want our bones moist. Yes, what we're thinking about matters because the emotions we feel are letting us know what is coming back to us. And so when we realize our own magnetic nature, we will become better choosers of the subject matter we allow our thought life to dwell on. When we understand the more evil we think about, the more evil circumstances we attract. Mm. When we've had enough of that, we'll begin a whole new round. David J. Dill, I am host of the Soul Side Talk Show. Come back and see me now.